Hi, I'm Orson. I'm with the Fluid team. Uh, we have been working on making a new Quest attachment to turn the Quest 3 into the Quest Pro in terms of like how it fits on your face. We've been working with the Quest Pro for a while and it's really nice because you can see out the sides of it while you're working, which is good for situational awareness and also nice for seeing other people in the room. And you really don't pay attention to it after the while. So we were hoping when the Quest 3 actually came out that it would have the same interface, but it doesn't. It's got the sort of block out all your vision. We went on a journey to try and print something that would change the Quest 3 interface. First steps were mostly trying to figure out how we could actually get it in uh, until we realized that there was this sort of outer rim on the Quest 3 that you could shove things into. So the very first setup was just like what could get it in and then 3D printing something that would be a standoff. This works okay. Next few iterations are trying to adjust the spacing. We started adding these foam pads when we were trying to like find a good material for it to stand off. This one gets to be a little bit more elaborate. We're also testing on the sides here. Can we set the angle of the arms of the Pro so that it sits not only on your face, but on your face in the right orientation? The next few iterations, we're looking at how are we actually gonna mount these screws so they're not just Hellraiser out the side. These, this is the only one that's actually adjustable by having screws down that way and then this big space in the front to hide the screws poking out the front. But basically the end of this generation was we decided we wanted to use the Quest Pro uh, head mounts. So the Quest Pro head mounts have these very bizarre mount poles. And so we went through a whole set of generations of like, how do we get something that'll actually clip in? First figuring out the actual placement and then the clips themselves. You can see the prints getting smaller as I cut away everything, but that thing we're actually testing. And then finally, this is the first one where you could actually clip in the Quest 3 interface. So after that, we had one that we were pretty happy with. This was the first one that we thought this is good enough to use basically every day. We went through a couple integrations of like what angle do we want that at. So given that the thing flexes, do we want it like further back, more at an angle? That's what these four are and they all have the fun thing of we ran out of print uh, right in the middle. So these are the two-tone ones. Here I figured out to put the version number actually on the prints themselves rather than scratching it on with a knife like all the other ones. These are very, very small refinements at this point. Uh, you can see I've like cut around the sides to fit in, fit the pieces in a little bit better. And basically we got all the way up to here with the pet G, these little cuts in the back for inserts. And then finally we're on V14. This one's cut off the sides. We may bring these back in the future. Oh, and we've also added a bar here so you can strap um, other versions of Quest accessories on. We've added little cuts in the side. The main thing with this one is it's small enough that you could ship it in a much smaller box than the rest of them and print faster. We may have the, the wings back in the side, but this one also we're happy with. Cool. Can we see it in the headset? Yeah. It just clips in. It's not glued or anything, and it doesn't stress it unduly. And same thing on the Quest 3, just on the sides. And there you go. You have the same peripheral vision that you would have on the Quest Pro. Uh, it takes a little bit of adjusting, getting the wings right, and it does rest a little bit on your nose, but for working in like pretty static environments like we are, for our product, uh, it's pretty good. And how can they get it? Uh, it's free on our Discord. And then if you don't have access to a 3D printer, you can order one online. It cut, it'll come with the, uh, does it come with the insert actually? Uh, there's, yeah, a version with it and a version without it. Version yeah. with the insert and version without, yeah. yeah. The one with the pad is uh, a little bit more expensive. Yeah, yeah. obviously. All right. Cool.